Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's get to know Wally the Albertosaurus. Albertosaurus is a highly renowned Tyrannosaurid dinosaur. Its abundant fossil record enabled us to understand this dinosaur comprehensively. The length of average Albertosaurus specimens is around 8 meters, while larger ones can reach up to 9 or 10 meters. Based on its robust body form, we shaped it about 9 to 10 meters long. Due to the intact fossil record, we have a clear understanding of Albertosaurus' external appearance. In fact, for many other Tyrannosaurids with incomplete fossils, their missing parts are often inferred based on the skeleton of Albertosaurus. The Tyrannosaurus rex, commonly known as T-Rex, initially had its forepaws absent for a long period after its discovery. Therefore, in the early reconstructions, T-Rex was often restored with three fingers. However, based on the fossils of Albertosaurus, people inferred that these large Tyrannosaurids likely had only two fingers. Albertosaurus was one of the earliest dinosaurs found with complete forelimbs, which led to the adjustment of the T-Rex as four paws with two fingers. It was not until later discoveries of complete T-Rex fossils, such as Sue, that proved the T-Rex indeed had two fingers, confirming the information previously obtained from Albertosaurus. In addition, many complete Albertosaurus specimens have revealed fossilized abdominal ribs, which are present in a significant number of Albertosaurus individuals. This discovery informs us that the abdomen of these dinosaurs had a relatively smooth appearance, rather than the previously speculated S-shape. Let's take a look at the overall body of this dinosaur. Firstly, it resembles a slimmed-down T-Rex, not as robust as the T-Rex, but still somewhat similar in appearance. It had a relatively large head, robust neck, muscular trunk, a long tail, two forelimbs, and sturdy hind legs. However, upon closer inspection, you will notice significant differences between Albertosaurus and T-Rex. While Albertosaurus may not have a head as large or robust as the T-Rex, its neck appears slightly longer, and its overall body is leaner and somewhat longer. The tail resembles that of other carnivorous dinosaurs. However, the most prominent difference lies in its legs. At first glance, you will observe that Albertosaurus has remarkably long legs, compared to the shorter legs of T-Rex, which suggests that Albertosaurus was a fast-running dinosaur. Albertosaurus indeed appeared to have a lighter body weight, especially compared to its close relative, the Gorgosaurus. This dinosaur shared about 90% similarity with Albertosaurus and can be easily confused. However, Gorgosaurus appeared to be bulkier than Albertosaurus. If both dinosaurs were of the same body length, Albertosaurus would have a lighter body weight, potentially resulting in faster running speeds and greater endurance. Let's take a closer look at this dinosaur step by step. First, let's examine its head. A prominent feature of Albertosaurus is that, when it closed its mouth, its face appeared elongated, with a noticeable curvature in front of the mouth. When viewed from above, you will notice that the dinosaur's head is quite narrow. From the front, its eyes are unlike those of the later T-Rex, which possessed excellent stereoscopic vision. The eyes of Albertosaurus were more positioned towards the sides, lacking good binocular vision. However, when viewed from the front, you can still perceive a slight hint of it. Some specimens of Albertosaurus display highly developed keratinous protuberances above the nose. In this region, some of these protuberances appear to be exceptionally large, although not all specimens show the same. Overall, Albertosaurus showed more developed keratinous structures compared to T. rex. Additionally, its telacrimal crests were sharper, with a more complex shape. Upon closer inspection, it can be observed that the posterior segment of the lacrimal crests is wide, while the anterior is narrow, with both sides exhibiting highly twisted shapes, forming the cross-section on the top. The lacrimal crests slightly extend forward and outward, appearing relatively short in fossils. When considering the keratinous structure, they might end in sharp tips, pointing slightly forward. Albertosaurus had a relatively high number of teeth, you can see that its mouth is filled with delicate teeth. Compared to the teeth of T-Rex, those of Albertosaurus were less robust but sharper and more serrated. However, compared to other carnivorous dinosaurs, Albertosaurus still possessed sturdy teeth. 
Inside the mouth of Albertosaurus, you can observe the presence of internal nares, also known as the vomeronasal organ. Two small structures here were connected to its nasal region. Based on the fossil evidence, the position of these two small openings can be deduced, which are located slightly toward the back inside the mouth. Furthermore, the lower jaw of Albertosaurus appears to be somewhat shorter than the upper jaw in many specimens. When it closes the mouth, the shape is similar to this. On the face of Albertosaurus, there were also rough structures. Therefore, we reconstructed it with a rough, cracked scale-like integument, much like what has been done with T-Rex in the past. Albertosaurus also possessed two very small jugal horns, positioned approximately in this area. These jugal horns were quite small but sharp. Let's now take a look at the neck of Albertosaurus. Compared to T-Rex, its neck was still robust yet more slender and flexible. At the posterior of the neck, there were several muscle groups. Firstly, this triangular muscle connects to this part of the neck, which is responsible for moving its head upward and downward. Then, the powerful lateral muscles on either side of the neck allow its neck to twist when biting the prey, exerting force to tear flesh away from the prey. When viewed from the front, Albertosaurus has a round body. Although being much smaller than T. rex, it still represents a typical body form of a robust tyrannosaurid. Its thighs were full of well-developed muscles. There might be a layer of skin membrane between the thighs and the trunk, similar to what can be observed in the tail as well. The internal structure in this region is akin to many modern fast-running birds, such as ostriches. The thighs were well-built and sturdy. Its leg could only swing forward limitedly but swung backward more extensively, allowing the dinosaur to push off with powerful kicks, facilitating faster running. Additionally, this structure may have allowed the dinosaur to occasionally raise its body upright, enhancing its visibility and vigilance in surveying the surroundings. Due to its long legs, Albertosaurus could potentially achieve high, running speeds, so we made this model in a forward-running pose to showcase this characteristic. Its tail was typical of carnivorous dinosaurs, with two sets of muscles and a transverse process dividing them. The feet of Albertosaurus, like other carnivorous dinosaurs, had four toes, with one being relatively small and sharp. This toe didn't touch the ground during regular walking, so its claw remained sharper, while the nails of other toes normally on the ground might become slightly blunter through wear. Another important feature of Albertosaurus is its skin. The skin of Albertosaurus is quite distinctive, and currently, two different types of skin have been identified. One is found on its abdomen, where a careful examination reveals numerous small grids. These grids are direct evidence of the skin pattern on the abdomen of Albertosaurus. The abdominal skin of Albertosaurus shows a pattern similar to that of lizards, with neatly arranged square scales. However, the scales on its abdomen were very small, unlike the large scales of crocodiles. Each grid of Albertosaurus measures only a few millimeters in width, and each scale is highly raised, giving it a very three-dimensional appearance. Another type is the scales on the sides of its body, which demonstrates the distinctive skin pattern of this dinosaur. Typically, Tyrannosaurids like T-Rex and Dyspultosaurus tended to have fine, irregular scales without larger scutes. However, Albertosaurus is different. Most of its skin was covered in tiny, delicate scales similar to those of Tarbosaurus or T-Rex, measuring only a few millimeters. However, interspersed among these scales were some large scutes. This is the first time such a feature has been found on a Tyrannosaurid. These larger scales, as displayed in the model, are closely spaced, with an average distance of about 5 to 6 centimeters between them. They have a diameter exceeding 1 centimeter, and sometimes even larger. These large scales are evenly distributed across its body surface, as shown in this model. Apart from Albertosaurus, a similar structure has only been found in another carnivorous dinosaur, Carnotaurus. In some instances, a similar arrangement of large, scute-like structures with close and uniform spacing has been observed on some hadrosaurs. This is also a distinctive feature of Albertosaurus. We previously mentioned that it is closely related to Gorgosaurus, but we currently are uncertain whether Gorgosaurus possessed such a structure, as there are no clear photographs or published articles on the skin of Gorgosaurus. 
However, based on verbal descriptions from some researchers, Gorgosaurus was reported to have a smooth and delicate scale-like texture on its body surface, without any mention of large scales. This may be a notable distinction between Albosaurus and other Tyrannosaurids. Good, the above concludes our introduction to Wally the Albosaurus. Thank you all.